An enclosure at a reserve is divided into two rectangular cages. One side of the enclosure is a solid wall. So this is a solid wall. Okay, and these are the two cages, one for female and one for male. There is a fence around the rest of the enclosure. So this is a fence around the around the cages. Okay. Uh, and between the male and the female. So this is the fence and this is also fence. So this dotted line are the fences. The total length of the fences is 275 meters. Okay, so let's start by writing some variables. So this is unknown, so I'll call this y. So this is also y and this is also y. We don't know this much, so we'll call this x and this is z. Okay, the so first thing that we can write looking at this sentence is, it's always good to write what you know. So I can say, well, x plus z plus 3y is equal to 275. So let's take one step at a time. So this is one thing that you can write. Five males are kept in the smaller cage. This is a male cage. And eight female birds in the larger cage. So you've got five here and eight here, eight female. Okay, the male have an av the males have an average area of 250 meters squared in their cage. So you can say average uh, area, average area for each male, average area for each male is given to be 250 meters squared. So what does that mean? So what's the total area of this cage? <clears throat> so the area, so let me write it here. So area of this cage would be 250 times 5. It would be 250 times 5, <clears throat> which is 1,250 meters squared. So this is a technique that I'm showing you to break the information into equations and numbers. <clears throat> now, the area of the female is to be maximized. We want to maximize this area. So area in a general form for this would be A would be X times Y. And you want to maximize this area. So my ultimate goal, or uh, I want to write area in terms of X or Y. So I want to write this in terms of X or Y. And then I want to differentiate it and set it equal to zero. So find the, so this is the crucial word. You want to maximize the area of the female. Okay, so what can we do now? So we know A is equal to, A is equal to X times Y. Okay, so what can we do? What is the other thing that you can say? Can you write this area? So let me write. Can you write this area of this would be what times what? That would be base times, base times height. So you can say yz is the area of this. So can I say now yz is equal to 1,250, which implies, let's write z in terms of y. So z would be 1,250 divided by y. So I've written z in terms of y. So what can I do? So I'm going to put this in this equation. So if I put this in the, this equation, I can say x plus 1,250 over y plus 3y is equal to 275. So let's make x the subject. So if you make x the subject, x is equal to 275 minus 3y minus 1250 over y. So I have written x and z in terms of y. I have written x in terms of y. Okay, so what can we do now? <clears throat> let's go back to this. You want to maximize A. Now A, I can say is, let me write AF. AF means area of the female cage is X times Y, which is 
this is same as y times x, so this is y times x. What is x? x is 275 minus 3y minus 1250 over y. So let's expand this. So this becomes a, a, f would be expanding this. This is 275y minus 3y squared. And this would be 1250. So now you can say, now, if you differentiate this, this is a quadratic function. Okay, so this will be an upside down parabola. So let me explain this graphically. Because if you understand graphically, it does make sense. Okay, so here, uh, your graph would parabola would look somewhat like this. Okay, so this would be, I know this is one, minus 1250. So on x axis, I've taken y. So this is your y, and this is your af area of the female. So on y axis, how do I know that this is minus 1250? Because if you put z, x, y as 0, this will be minus 1250. And at this point, you get the maximum area. And here, DAF by DY is equal to 0. So that's what we're going to say. Well, now DAF by DY should be equal to 0 for maximum area. For, for maximum area. So let's differentiate. So DAF by dy would be 275 differentiating polynomials minus 6y. And that let's set it equal to 0. So you can say 275 is equal to 6y. So you can say y is 275 over 6. So let us keep this the whole number. You don't need to write this as a decimal. 275 over 6 or divided by 6 meters is the exact, you can say, width of the fence to get the maximum area. So now we need to find x. So we know what is x. We know x is, so let's write here, x is equal to 275 minus 3y minus 1, 2, 5 over y. So let's use a calculator now. So first I'll show you a technique to save this as a letter. So 275 divided by 6 is this whole number. So this is this is 45.83 recurring. So you can save this like this. Press this arrow key on a calculator and you press alpha A. So this is your A. So if you press now alpha A and press execute, that will give you this number. So now my calculator remembers your alpha A as 45.83 recurring. So I want to find this. So let me drag this slightly to this side. So I'll go 275 minus, am I right here? Yeah, 275 minus 3 times alpha A minus 1250 divided by alpha A. I want the exact answer, which is 110.227272. Okay, so this X is 110 point, what was the number? 110.23, I'll round this to 2 dp. So this is 110.23 meters. Okay, so the maximum area would be x times y. So this is times, this is your x times alpha a. Alpha a, sorry. Let me delete. And alpha a would give me 5052. Uh, 5052 
So the maximum area, so the area of female, so AF would be 5,000 meter squared, 5,052 meter squared. So average area for each female would be this number divided by 8, so which is 5,052 divided by 8 because there are 8 females. So divided by 8, so this is 631, 631.5 meters squared, or you can say this is 631 meters squared to round it to the whole number. Okay, you can write 632, so the average area for each female of the cages, uh, 631 or 630, if you want to round it to the whole uh, nearest 10.